We must immediately suspend immigration from any nation that has been compromised by terrorism until such time as proven vetting mechanisms have been put in place. We don't want them in our country. Donald Trump accepting the Republican nomination last month and calling for a suspension of all immigration from any nation compromised by terrorism. But here a month later, reports that a new surge at the border, including some, quote, refugees, is of serious concerns. Illegal migrants, and the report came at Breitbart.com, illegal mi migrants from terror-linked countries surging at our southern border. Our next guest says it is time for us to open our eyes because, well, the talk of refugees, in fact, could be a Trojan horse. Let's welcome in that guest, the leading expert on global Islamic terrorism, Brigitte Gabrielle. She's the founder and president of actforamerica.org, and she's also the New York Times best-selling author of They Must Be Stopped, Why We Must Defeat Radical Islam and How We Can Do It. Brigitte, it's great to have you here on Newsmax Prime. Your reaction to the report today at Breitbart.com. Uh, thank you, J.D. Well, my reaction, it's finally coming out and the country is starting to wake up. This is something we knew about uh, for years. Uh, I discussed in my book, they must be stopped, how we used to call them OTM, other than Mexicans. Uh, I discussed that even in my first book, came out in 2006. The reality is, that our government has been covering up exactly who else is coming through the Mexican border, and that is radical Islamists coming from the Middle East and different parts of North Africa with the intention of coming into our country not to blend in and become Americans, but to cause trouble recruiting and radicalizing Muslims. Now, Brigitte, you've been monitoring the Syrian refugee situation as it relates to our national security and the need to vet those refugees. Earlier this week, Donald Trump called for a change to our current vetting process. Let's look and listen, then I'll ask for your reaction. In the Cold War, we had an ideological screening test. The time is overdue to develop a new screening test for the threats we face today. I call it extreme vetting. I call it extreme, extreme vetting. Our country has enough problems. We don't need more. And these are problems like we've never had before. Brigitte, your reaction to what Mr. Trump said? He hit the nail on the head. He's absolutely correct. And we do need to vet them because right now, those who are coming in are already bringing problems with them. And not only terrorism, J.D., we already know that ISIS already came out and said that they have already embedded 4,000 ISIS operatives within the refugee community. Uh, those are the refugees right now who are in Europe. These are the refugees that the UN is sending to the United States because the UN decides what, what refugees come to America, not our State Department. The UN tells the State Department what refugees they're sending, and then the State Department works with nine federal contractors. Six out of them are religious charities who are making millions of dollars to settle these refugees. And here's the problem, J.D. They are bringing with them not only the risk of terrorism, but look at all the diseases they are bringing. Look at all the rape cases and sexual harassment that we already have seen in the United States by refugees who already came here. Nine cases already of rape uh, and sexual harassment. Eleven cases, states already are suffering from uh, uh, tuberculosis, diseases that these refugees are bringing in. And our taxpayers are paying for it. And that's something the media doesn't want to talk about. Well, Brigitte, let's hear what our viewers want to talk about. The stories we're discussing tonight at 1-877-NEWSMAX, 1-877-639-7629. Back out to an area I used to represent in the Congress of the United States, to Chandler, Arizona. And Kathy is on the line. Hi, Kathy. Hi, J.D. Oh, it's such a pleasure to your, to watch your program. Thank you. I tell you today, I love Donald Trump, but when I heard him say from his heart that he regretted what he said and that he's going to move forward and he's going to be truthful, 
women love that. And I love them even more. The second thing is, Brigitte, I've seen her speak before um, about the border and everything she said. I've heard her say before. I hope the American people understand that it's not just Mexicans that are coming over, illegal Mexicans. But I don't know what the break, I wish she would break down the percentage. Cause she well, let, let's, let's see if, uh, Brigitte, do you have an idea of the percentages of, say, Syrians or, or Iranians coming, trying to come in with the group uh, over our southern border? I do not know the latest percentages, but we know that they are by the thousands, and not only from Syria. We know that they are coming from Lebanon, from Egypt, from Algeria, from different parts of the Islamic world. Uh, I know of a, an employee at the Mexican embassy in Lebanon selling visas for $3,000 a visa to come to Mexico because they know that once you get to Mexico, you can literally waltz your way through America, through the Mexican border. So there are multiple countries that they are coming from, including from China, the Uyghurs in China, the Islamic sect in China, which is now trying to speak to America through the Mexican border. And uh, it is a real problem. And I know visiting ranches in southern Arizona where we would find Islamic prayer rugs uh, people have yep. brought in. So obviously this is a genuine problem. I want to get back to what Mr. Trump is, uh, is suggesting in terms of, quote, extreme vetting. Now, as I understand it, the current vetting process allegedly consists of uh, five interviews totaling about four hours. And when asked questions like, are you a member or representative of a terrorist organization? And do you seek to engage in terrorist activities while in the United States? These refugees can just say yes or no. And guess what? They're going to answer the way they want to to get into the country. But, but it leads to my second point. Even with a, quote, psychological test, don't we need uh, much more stringent safeguards than just someone say so? Exactly. Taking a terrorist's word. Do you think a terrorist who's trying to come to this country is going to tell you that, yeah, I believe in Sharia law and I believe that you all should be killed? Of course he's not going to say that. What, what's going on right now is literally a crime, J.D. I mean, and Obama is trying to rush these refugees as fast as he can without proper vetting. And by the way, we do not even know that their names are actually their real names, because remember, these refugees don't even have passports. They don't have IDs. They are not on our database or any database in whatever country. So we really do not know who they are other than accept their word as fact, which we will be stupid to do that 15 years after September 11th. And remember, September 11th report, the 9-11 Commission report said, we lacked imagination. It's not that we did not know that our enemy wants to attack us. So today, 15 years later, we can no longer hide behind we lack imagination. We know exactly what they want to do. And by the way, J.D., the left is organizing a massive rally in Washington, D.C. on August 28th to pressure Congress to approve Obama's proposal of bringing up to 200,000 refugees into the country starting this October. Well, and I know this is a family show, but I would hope my former colleagues on Capitol Hill to that would not only say no, Brigitte, they would say, hell no. Oh. That's what needs to happen. Tell you what, let's get back to the phones. Got a couple of minutes remaining in this segment. To Nolansville, Tennessee, Johnny is calling in. Johnny, welcome to Newsmax Prime. Hey, J.D., how you doing, my fine, fabulous friend? Good to be talking to you. It's great to have you, Johnny. What's on your mind tonight? Yeah, I was just listening to the comments that the young lady was talking on t television about just now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a U.S. veteran from the Iraq War. Uh, almost 6,000 of us gave the ultimate sacrifice over there. And to have a president and a, you know, and Hillary Clinton saying that she wants to bring these people over here, basically what they're telling us and the American people is she's trying to bring the war to the United States. And, you know, I, I just got to tell you, I got to be honest about this, and I can be as partisan as the next guy, but, Brigitte, you were talking about it. It's been 15 years since 9-11. It's been 10 years since I served in Congress. I was shouting at the top of my lungs, enforce the border, don't issue amnesty, and sadly, this has been a bipartisan failing, a Republican president and a Democratic president. Got about a minute for you to give us the last word, Brigitte. 
Thank you for saying that. You're absolutely correct. They both fail the American public, and that's why the American public needs to rise. We at Act for America are holding our own rally to pressure Congress not to let Obama bring refugees into the country. September 6th and 7th in Washington, D.C. Go to our website, actforamerica.org. We're the largest national security organization. We are the NRA of national security. Join us for more details, actforamerica.org. And uh, as you were mentioning that, Brigitte, we were showing your website. Kind of neat how that works here on television. Brigitte Fantastic. Gabrielle, we really appreciate your time. Again, Brigitte is the New York Times bestselling author of the book, They Must Be Stopped, Why We Must Defeat Radical Islam and How We Can Do It. When we come back, what Donald Trump said in Charlotte last night that is eliciting such positive reactions. It's our prime playback on this Friday evening, and we will have it for you next here on Newsmax Prime.